So we've got three names, right? We've got Isa bin Maryam. We've got. Uh, Are you Yesh. asking what is the real name yeah, of Jesus? Yeah, what is the real name and what's, what, okay. why is there a difference? Now, that's a very good question. Thank you for asking that question. Very important question. By the way, we to this day have no idea as to what language Jesus spoke. We don't know what language Moses spoke. If people tell you Hebrew, no. The answer is no. Hebrew is a collection of different languages. Hebrew has been influenced by a number of Middle Eastern languages. Even Hebrew alphabets are originally, if I'm not mistaken, Phoenician. Okay? So Hebrew language is actually a later language. Did Jesus speak Hebrew? Again, Christian scholars, Christian academics will tell you that he spoke a dialect, a dialect of Aramaic. We have no literature as far as the four Gospels are concerned or anything else for that matter. We have nothing in Aramaic. So what we have in the Gospels in the earliest forms uh, is, Greek, is in Greek language. Jesus did not speak the Greek language. This is where a lot of the Muslim scholars take information from the Gospels uh, with a pinch of salt because they know that this was not the language spoken by Jesus Christ. Likewise, Hebrew was not the language of Moses and even the Israelite prophets for that matter. So we have no idea as to how his name might have been pronounced. What we do have is a close um, attribution, which is Yeshua. Yeshua actually means the saved one. And Yeshua is a name that existed in the time of Jesus Christ. We can confirm that from some of the manuscripts that are still around, such as the Dead Sea Scrolls. The Dead Sea Scrolls date from the period, from the same period of Jesus Christ, when he was alive, right? Between the first century BC to the second century CE, or the first century CE. So Yeshua was definitely a name used by the Israelites at that time. So that's the closest name we have for Jesus Christ. Isa is an Arabized version of Yeshua. Musa is an Arabized version of Moshe. Okay? Ibrahim is an Arabized version of Ibrahim. Okay? So how exactly was the name of Ibrahim or Abraham or Ibrahim was pronounced is not known to us. What we do know in the Quran um, is the, Arab, the Arabic version of these words. Injil. The word Injil is an Arabized form of evangelos, which is Greek. Evangelos is actually a Greek word, which means the good news. And Injil is an Arabized form of evangelos, Injil, right? So what you find in the Quran is Arabic or Arabized uh, version of foreign words, right? Uh, but what name did Jesus use for himself? No one knows. No one knows in human history. To this day, Christian scholars don't even know what language Jesus spoke, let alone uh, what he might have preached in his uh, native language. 